Ryan McMenamin will play in the half back line. McMenamin. Oh, that's lovely from Tyrone. Brian McGuigan. And now McMenamin has been popping up and scoring points. Provider this time for Tyrone McGuigan. McGuigan is Griffin in front and McGuigan slots that over. That's a great point and a perfect start for Tyrone. They lead. It's a super one made by McGinley's little flick at midfield. That opened up the play. After that, just lovely link play and a lovely finish. Great start for McGuigan after the last day, Dara. That'll do his confidence a world of good. Out onto his left. Beautiful. Brogan out. There was a slip by Connor Gormley. Gormley will pick up Brogan. McMenamin should be picking up Dermot Connolly in the Tyrone half back line. Brogan is down. He's taken a bit of a knock after that challenge with Connor Gormley. Brett um, Brogan, there, yeah, who's a concern, obviously. Right. He'll do the what they call the box-to-box -box stuff, and Kieran Whelan sits back a bit. Ryan to Brian Cullen, 45 metres out. Davy Hart with the challenge. Joe McMahon there, Colin Keeney, beautiful. Ryan is the extra man, and now Brogan is free. Brogan hit the upright. Kevin Bonner for Dublin. Jim Connolly. Run through well, Jason Sherlock, a greasy ball, it's so difficult to handle. Barry Cattle now, the extra man in this attack, and Sherlock goes for the equaliser. But he's put it wide, he's put it wide, and that's a bad miss from Jason Sherlock, right in front of the post. Alan Brogan's gone down injured again, I think he's going to have to go off. I think his brother's going to replace him. Bernard Brogan on for Alan. Well, the, the worry before the throw-in was about Sean Kavanagh, but Alan Brogan seemed to tweak something in the most innocuous way. Kieran Gourley, and Gourley has spotted the free man is Connor Gormley. He's left his marking duties for the moment. Enda McGinley just ahead of him, and Gormley goes for gold himself, and he's got it. That's a brilliant score from Connor Gormley. Two points. To Dublin's no score in the eighth minute. And just as well he got it because Enda McGinley wouldn't have thanked him right beside him, but he fancies himself. Lovely accuracy, you can see that from behind the goal. That's Kevin Bonner, and Tyrone's half back line is gone. Now it's Barry Cattle. Quinn to his left, and Cattle levels up the scores. They've scored two in the space of about 50 seconds. Broken for Conan Keeney, who was the free man there. Now Mossy Quinn, and Quinn is there. He can move it wide. Connolly is there with him. He was too strong with the hand pass. Well, he could have done himself, Mossy Quinn, but dear McConnelly was completely free. Oh, dear. What a pass inside. The break works for Mossy Quinn. You can see what he's thinking. But he overcooks the half pass. Uh -uh. Philip Jordan, yeah. That was a foul by Kevin Bonner, and is there going to be a card for that? He's on yellow. Ryan McMenamin to Brian Duhar. Tyrone captain goes past Polly Moore and Duhar drills this. That looks good. It started off beautifully, and it is beautiful. You saw earlier on him scoring that brilliant point from a difficult angle in the 05 games. Well, he'd settled with this one quite nicely, and they go back in front. Colin McCullough's in a very good position. Good pass too. McCullough. Tommy McGuigan looking for movement off him. He's back with McCullough. Scored one from the same position about two minutes ago. Very, very nice football from Tyrone. Three points in a row. 12 minutes to the break, they have a three-point lead. Shane Ryan, that's played out towards him. He's trying to get into this game as well, like Jason Sherlock. And all is not right with the uh, four-in-a-row Leinster champions at the moment. Sean Kavanagh. And a space on Ross McConnell and Kavanagh. 
Groves may go with the fist here or will he go for goal? Kavanagh! What a start for Tyrone! Great goal from Sean Kavanagh, but I wonder just how many steps did he take? The goal stands, and look at the scoreline. Dublin with only two points in 26 minutes almost. Well, he took a lot. There's no doubt about that. Dublin need a score or two before half-time for confidence here as much as for the scoreboard. They've got a line ball. Colly Moran. Moran's gone for that himself. It's going to drop short. The goalkeeper out. He missed it! And Dublin have a goal. John Devine made a huge mistake. He had two defenders in front of him and he really had no right to come out and claim this. I'm not sure who got the final touch. Was it Conal Keeney or was it Jason Sherlock? Have a look. It's Keeney. What a touch it is. What was John Devine thinking of? Yes, it's Keeney. Tommy McGuigan. Tommy McGuigan feels he has the beating of Barry Cowell. He's really quick on his feet. Good sidestep. Free man is Joe McMahon. Unbelievable. Where did the Dublin defence go? There's a Dublin player down injured just on the 45 metre line, but Joe McMahon, well, he just snuck forward. And the Tyrone supporters can't believe it. McGuigan was superb over here. Where was the defence? And Joe McMahon, the coolest man in Croke Park from right here. Brian McGuigan. Brian Dewar has put in an incredible amount of work during the first half. A Dublin player slips. That was Colly Moran. Now, Dewar, will he back himself to score? Oh, yes, he will. That is absolutely superb from Brian Dewar. They questioned his hunger, his desire. They said he had two All Ireland medals, but he is leading this charge to Dublin and playing superbly well at the moment. McGuigan to Davy Hart, and he spots Ryan McMenamin. Tommy McGuigan just moves away from McMenamin. There's the challenge from David Henry. Tommy McGuigan is free. That's Jason Sherlock back there in the full back line, and McGuigan has slotted that over. Two in a row for Tyrone in the space of about a minute and a half. They're attacking Hill 16 in the second half, but they are so comfortable on this big, big stage, and problems for Billings and Caffrey. Cluxton's kick out, Holly Holmes goes for it, and he took it back up Kieran Whelan, who got there first. Joe McMahon. Pings it in long. Broken down by McGuigan, here's McCulley, wants it on his left boot, Colin McCullough, he's got it on his left boot, and that is three in a row. And this is a sensational start to the second half by Tyrone. Look at the scoreline now. McCullough had lost his marker. Gets it on to his left. This is bread and butter for him. He won't miss from there. Colly Holmes. Tyrone carrying the ball so well. Colly Holmes. That's Kevin Bonner now. McCullough. McCullough. Look at Davy Hart. Is completely free. Davy Hart. Two Dublin defenders come towards him. Davy Hart. People wrote Tyrone off all over the place. And Dublin, their defence. Their full-back line has at times been vulnerable all year, and they've conceded three goals. And they are right up against it here. Davy Hart, who was supposed to be picking him up? And hey, what about that for a finish? Ryan McMenamin. This fluid passing game from Tyrone. The Dublin defenders just have no idea who to pick up. Now Philip Jordan is getting forward. He's free, Jordan. Can they get the ball to him? He's now been marked, but Colin McCullough has it. Hart is free again. Davy Hart. Hart going for his second score in a row, and he slotted it. They just don't know who to mark. Philip Jordan got free. The left hand back, and Davy Hart has scored two in a row for Tyrone. 3 10 to 1 6. touch on that, David Henry is there with it. Great work from Penrose, McCullough. Again, three men popping up all over the place. Dublin have lost their shape completely. McGinley is a left-footed player, what's he like on his right? He's absolutely superb. Ender McGinley with one of the points of the day, and Tyrone just won't let up.
313 to 16, 22 points to 9. They are hammering Dublin. Damon Fennell, Connell Keeney. Keeney outside to Paul Casey. Crossback. Barry Cattle. Under two minutes of normal time remaining. Shane Ryan. Ryan drives his way through. What a tackle that was, but it's come to Brogan and he's put it over. Goals are what they need and lots of them, but they're only going to be consolation scores at this stage, and that is a consolation point. There's Kevin Hughes. There's no pressure now, and it doesn't matter. It's gone wide. Wide number 10. The Dublin fans who've stayed behind on Hill 16 are singing for their team, but they've been beaten out of their home patch, and Mickey Hart has come up with a tactical masterclass, and he's got his team to perform above the level they've been at for the last, what, 18 months or so. They're through to the semi-final. Dublin hammered 314 to 1-8.